Okay, um, in this quick uh, video tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to create a Microsoft tag. Microsoft tags, um, once you log into your system, your QR Path account, you go over to your left sidebar, click on 2D barcodes, and as that drops down, we're going to go to Create Campaigns. And this is just like we, we did with a QR code, except the only difference between this is that we're going to select uh, to use a Microsoft tag. Once we have our screen set up here, we're going to uh, go ahead and type in our, our title. So this is uh, for the uh, tutorial, uh, Microsoft tag, okay, our URL that we're going to be using is qrpath.com and of course this is going to be um, our mobile website is what we're going to be linking to so you can link to your website if you need to this is just the URL is always remember it's always just where the QR code is going to go to um, this can be changed at any time as well too so if you make a mistake don't worry uh, once you create your QR code and Microsoft tag you can always go back and change that now last time on the QR code we did a business card and this time what we want to do is uh, marketing. So we could do a marketing piece or uh, we could even say this is going to be a flyer or brochure. Okay. Now we're going to choose if we want it to expire. Uh, with a brochure I don't think we're going to want it to have an end date. Uh, usually brochures can go for years and years so um, I think we're good. We can not have that expire, but if we wanted to, we can just uh, click one of the dates on there. So the next thing we're going to do is change to a Microsoft tag. Okay. Now, just like in our QR code presentation, we have the size. Choose. We're going to leave it at default. Seven. Now, this is going to choose if we want it to be black and white Microsoft tag, or if we want it to be a colored Microsoft tag. Uh, black and white is if you're going to be doing a black and white print and you want to keep the Microsoft tag on uh, your brochure with your QR code as well and your QR code is black and white. Um, so if that's the case and you're not going to do any color in your printing then yes black and white is what you want to choose. However uh, colored, if you're going to use colored printing that's the best way to go. Uh, people recognize the color of the Microsoft tags. Then the next thing that we have is the decoration. We can either use a plain decoration style, which is the typical Microsoft tag, or we could choose to have it um, generate with instructions. The instructions will have a little phone icon, and with the little phone icon, it's going to say, uh, to download the app, go to gettag.mobi, which is Microsoft's um, website, to where uh, they will help you download um, Microsoft tag for your smartphone. Then the other thing we can do is with style. Now style is something that if you want to get into um, putting your logos in, um, creating uh, unique Microsoft tags, that's when you're, you're going to want to use with style. Uh, if you're just going to use a, a plain Microsoft tag, then you want to do plain or one that has instructions. So let's go ahead and do the one with instructions for right now so we can see what it looks like. Okay, so we just want to double check we have all of our um, information correct. So we're just going to generate. Okay, and you can see that it has generated the Microsoft tag here. This is a plain Microsoft tag, but we chose with instructions. So now we're going to have these instructions included in here. Now, the same as the QR code, you're going to have download options uh, such as PNG, GIF, JPEG, and PDF. You can also check to view the encoded URL, just like we did with the QR code. So we can see now here the ID for the Microsoft tag within the QR path system. And then that's how you set up a Microsoft tag. Uh, same thing with smartphone apps and Facebook pages. If you needed to set one up, uh, you can. The big thing is when you create a QR code or a Microsoft tag and you are at this page and you need to create a new QR code or Microsoft tag, do not simply go in here and edit for new Microsoft tag. Okay, because the reason why you don't want to just create something new and then generate because it's not going to generate a new one. What the system thinks you're doing is editing this current tag. Okay, 
So if you ever want to create a new QR code or Microsoft tag, simply go back to Create Campaigns and create a whole new campaign system. And that's all for today for uh, creating Microsoft tags. Thank you very much. If you want to look out, look uh, for more tutorials, simply go to qrpath.com/tutorials. Thank you.